and we're back in this video i'm going to show you how to create an editable donut graph in adobe illustrator let us have the smart guides and snap to point only activated we'll go over here maybe the column graph tool will be shown first for you just select the pie graph tool and left click the size we use 500 times 500 and now you get this typical row column excel kind of document and you can add your data you can also import it if you want to give your data sets a certain name you need to use these quotation marks let me just have something in there but if you only want to use numbers you don't need them so it's kind of like with most coding languages. Just click on OK. Let me pull it to the side, just like this. So we've got a legend and our pie chart. Let's get rid of the stroke. So we can't simply select individually we can use the direct selection tool and change the fill color on the properties but what about the legend it doesn't change so let me press ctrl z and i use the group selection tool just click on a part of the pie chart then click again the legend will be selected and if you click a third time the next tier of groups is selected which is everything so we only need to double click on either the section of the pie chart or the legend itself. Once again, this time I double click on the legend and you can see that the section of the pie chart is selected as well. So that's the way to adjust the colors. Let us continue under object graph you can change type data or design so let me adjust the data you can see the pie chart is still editable just click on ok over here and it will be applied now we want to create a donut out of this pie chart let me use the ellipse tool for that we're going to create a clipping mask we go to the center hold shift and alt and alt space to move it a little bit outwards now i select the outer lips then i press ctrl c and ctrl f and let me make it red i size it down holding shift and alt you can see we've got two ellipses now on top of our pie chart i hold shift and select them both now I go to Object Compound Path and make. Deselect selected all, then select the outer one. Let me give that a red color and you can see what I'm selecting here. And then I'll shift and click on the pie chart. Then I go to Object, Clipping Mask, and I apply a Clipping Mask. So here's our donut, but the legend is missing. So we need to fix that. If you double click on your pie chart, you can see in the isolation mode that we are in the clip group. Double click on the outer ellipse and we'll go one level or one tier lower to the compound. Now I use the angle tool and I drag it over the legend to add it to the clipping mask. Let us go back a tier and you can already see it. It's now in the clip group. So that's the way to edit this. If you still want to change the data, select it, object, and you can see under graph and data you can't do it anymore. You need to open the layers, just like this, and then find the actual graph, which is this one, select it via a click on the right hand side, and now go to object, graph, and data. And when you change it, 
you can not only change the values here, but also the names of the datasets. Apply it once again, and you can see the change happening. And this is how you can create such editable donut charts in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.